My mom has a farmhouse, which she was renovating my entire life. So I always knew that I wanted a house to put my own stamp on. And this one was perfect because it had great bones and there was nothing structurally terrible about it, but it was just enough to, you know, take it down to the studs and put up what I envisioned for this house. I'm on a stone of the stonework. I am a chain stitch embroidery service and also a vintage clothing store. We're in Mohegan Lake, which is a suburb of New York City, and you're in my home studio. I bought this home actually very lucky about a month before the pandemic. So we got this house for a great price and we decided to gut renovate it from the bottom to top. Almost everything in this house was original, which was also so much better for me because it's like when you're taking something apart, it's always better to just take apart the first thing instead of, you know, layers of what other people have done on top of it. I'm not sure what what drove me to have the pink door. There's no other really paint color in my house. Everything is black or white or like that, the kitchen sculptor clay color. It just felt like the stamp of the home was just like, welcome and enter. <laughs> I don't know, I just kind of always think of this house as like, this is a girl's house. This is like me, my three daughters, my husband obviously, but like something about a pink door with the white house and the black windows, it just felt like perfect. The kitchen was one of the biggest, it became the biggest project in this house. So I took out all the original cabinets, everything. Um, the layout was pretty good already, so luckily I didn't have to change any plumbing or move anything around, but I wanted a built-in kitchen. The kitchen's pretty small, it's a galley kitchen, um, so I went ahead with the built-in like inset doors and that kitchen, I wanted it to look like it could have been a kitchen you know, in the 1930s, I wanted it to stay um, pretty original. We even kept like the original soffit above the sink. And I also knew that I wanted the kitchen to be a different color. So I found this kind of like khaki, gray, beige type color that I'm obsessed with. James had been wanting this pizza oven for a long time and Prior to me just deciding to totally change the mudroom, it was still a mudroom and it was still, you know, like the drop off zone. It was where we keep our shoes, our jackets, backpacks. It's just like where all of that goes. So James got a stand for it. I'm putting the stand together and it was right in front of the door that became the Dutch door for the oven. And I was like, but what if I just cut the door in half and then it just kind of like snowballed from there and I was like but what could I put the oven on because it, it's heavy it weighs like a hundred pounds and I found it was this thing that could slide out a hundred percent of what it slides back in it could hold all this weight I was like this is amazing One of the things that was a must have for this house was a fireplace. I grew up in an old farmhouse that had this beautiful like river rock fireplace that was like 20 feet high, just amazing. So the fireplace I wanted to maintain as like the focal point of the living room. I feel like the living room is the chill spot. It's the wind down place. So I was like, I'm gonna black it out and make it feel almost like a movie theater type vibe. So 
the walls were pine. So at first I painted the living room black, I left the ceiling white and I left the beams wood. And I was like, this looks awful, I hated it. So eventually I was like, I, I can't deal with this anymore. I'm gonna paint the whole ceiling black. And then after I did that, it was like, oh, this is perfect because the whole room is just this void and you just can like lay on the couch and you know, it doesn't reflect any light. So like you're watching a movie and it's just perfect. It's amazing. I love the all black. My bedroom was probably the least amount of work in this whole house. Um, my husband actually has more clothes than I do. So there were two closets in that room, one bigger one and one smaller one. So I took the smaller one. And the closet doors that were on there were not cute. So I just took them off and I hacked an Ikea packs system to fit inside of the closet that's there. But that was really the only thing that I had to do in that room. It was the least amount of work of any room. When we moved into this house, we actually all were basically sharing one room because we lived in apartments, we were in the city, and I was like, okay, I know I don't wanna share a bed with them but I was like, I'm just gonna get a big bed for them and put them in this room all together. And now they just sleep in the same bed together and it's really cute and they're out of my bed. But they usually find their way to my bed in the morning, but um, it works for us. The upstairs of the house was the most amount of work. It still isn't even fully done yet, but the bathroom started with the idea of putting a neon light in there. A girl's, girl's, girl's neon light. Because when all the girls move up there, you know, that whole second floor is just gonna be like their lair. And I don't know how it spiraled into, well, what if I just, mosaiced it on the wall. <laughs> so my friend Jenna, she designed it. And then I spent, oh my gosh, it was like two full nights just laying out the tile and making sure it was, you know, what the design was. It was a lot of work, but it paid off. I love it. I decided to do a mosaic for my first tiling job um, and penny tile, which is really, hard and annoying because there's so many grout lines and I actually used two different color grouts for this because I wanted the girls white to stick out a little bit more than the rest of this way so I did all black grout here and white grout here which was a whole another thing that made it a lot harder but um, it just turned out so amazing and I hope that it'll be fun and cool for my girls when they get older and you know their friends are coming over and seeing this. I mean it sounds so cliche but the house feels like home. Being really like the captain of the ship is super fun and sometimes I have to even remind myself like I don't need anyone's permission to do any of this um, and and I love that. Uh, so many things about this house too, I think about like through the lens of my kids. Like if I were little, what would I love about this house? I just think about like how to keep this home comfortable for them and try to keep it like a little whimsy and fun.